Hello, welcome to my channel. Renzo here. Okay, let's paint a new portrait. Okay, the colors I have here are titanium white, Naples yellow, cadmium orange, cadmium red, kinocridone rose, raw umber, gray paint, ivory black in chrome green okay I'm gonna start sketching I'm working from a black and white photograph obviously you find the link on the description box and I'm just gonna paint a colored portrait I love this because it's a good practice I got a lot of freedom about colors I don't need to copy anything I'm just gonna come out with my own colors okay I'm going to start with raw umber and this smaller fan brush. Okay. And I'm going to start sketching. Okay, let's see. Breathe lightly, obviously. I just want to be sure. Basically, I'm using this as a pencil and I'm drawing a straight lines okay for example here it would be something like this 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 you see it's a geometrical shape okay I always check out proportions like from the eyebrows to the nose from the nose to the chin in this case that the the head is tilted backward there's a change on the proportions Okay, I got the eyebrows here. Okay, the bottom of the nose. Usually this distance is the same as this distance. Okay, but now it's going to be different because how the face is tilted. Some foreshortening is happening on the face that makes this distance, this high, a little bit shorter than this high. Okay, the same for the eyes. Usually when the face is in these positions, the eyes kind of sit in an axis that is halfway from the eyebrows to the bottom of the nose. Okay. Now I'm gonna just start uh, squint. I'm gonna squint. I'm gonna start just painting, thinking about just darker shapes. I'm squinting a lot. For example, here, what I see is this. Just everything is darker dark, dark, dark here sorry if you hear any noise ok, here's the shoulder, here's the shoulder ok, the other eye you know, as I'm doing this obviously what I do is I pimple my eyes between the photograph and the painting really fast. Okay, I'm gonna check out the alignment of the ear with the face. Bottom of the ear is aligned with the bottom of the mouth. Oh, let's go. Hello, Mark. Hello, Arby. Hello, Silvana. Silvia. Hello, Francesco. Hello, Gary. Hello, Sharon. Okay. 
Can you hear the noise of the, of the background? You can hear, sorry, you know, I live in downtown and there is always something going on here. A lot of people, a lot of cars. Looks like there is a building just you now, it's under construction. I don't even know. Just the place where I live is really crowded day at night. And after like 11 p.m. at night, you know, it looks like a desert. Nobody on the street. Everything is empty. Okay, I, I got this now. I'm gonna think, let's say that this is the, uh, the darker values I see here. Now I'm gonna move to a mid-tone, which I'm gonna get mixing raw umber, white. I need more raw umber. Okay, the brand uh, that I'm using is Rembrandt, with the exception of white is Winton, and chrome green is Winton. A little bit, a little bit of orange. Oh well, that was too much orange. Touch of red. More raw umber and white. to greenish yeah that's the first layer okay I got a, lo a lot of time to just change it to retouch it let me see from the distance here yeah too greenish <laughs> okay touch of red I'm gonna light up this va value, just adding white. Okay, I'm gonna add a touch of cambium orange, a touch of red. orange and red Okay, I clean my brush. Okay. No, I'm gonna prepare a lighter value here. Orange, white. I still have a, a bit of this color on the brush. It's not too much.
cleaned my brush. Just paper towel. Gonna pick up more paint. more a bit lighter okay uh, I kind of established some colors here okay I got this kind of greenish skin color then I got this a little bit of light it's a bit warmer okay more okay now for the highlights I'm gonna pick up green and white okay highlight here okay I can add a touch of maple yellow Okay, now uh, the contrast I have here is kind of simple. I got a greenish skin color, which is kind of neutral, you know, it's romber and white and orange. I got this reddish color here, which I'm, I'm thinking obviously to make it more reddish. Okay, and I got the highlight, which are greenish. Okay. Okay, let's see some names. Hello, C. Vanish. Hello, Bonfirm. Hello, uh, Fathy. Joanne pa Paula. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Khalid. Hello, Romeo. Okay. Mm, I'm gonna continue with some reddish colors on the skin. More reddish here. More red, and let's see the chin. Okay, I'm gonna be make. I'm gonna just make a lot of adjustments, but I want just to think about how simple is the let's say the color structure I have here. Okay, look at this color. It's just raw umber white and a touch of orange. Look at this color. It looks kind of greenish eh? now a warm color here nose cheek cheeks chin and eyelids that I need to add more of this one okay on top of that one this one which is a light green okay but kind of a grayish green first and more saturated reddish color and then green again Okay, I can, uh, and at some point I can just use a combination between even just a light orange, a light yellow, and a light green for some highlights. And even some touches of pure green. Stay working on the reddish colors on the face. It's 
slowly because what I want at the end is something between this greenish and this, let's say, orangey color. Here, a little bit of linseed oil. I'm going to paint the background. Okay, let's see. Thinking about value, I like, I think, just like the photograph, a darker value for the background. About color, uh, about color, I oh, don't know. Mm, maybe just gray. Yeah. Let's see. Well, I, you know, I was thinking at the same time, what about some yellow? Why not? What about this? Like... Let me check out from a distance. Hmm. I don't know, maybe... This is gray paint. With a little bit of linseed oil. I need to I need to please lay down a darker value on the painting. You know I need to see my lighter value, my darker value. Okay. Hello Sharon. Black, I'm gonna mix black with kind of green on rose, and uh, for example, okay, here. Okay, and then here. I'm doing this because I need all the values, okay? I cannot work just with lighter values. Having this darker, darker values for me, uh, you know, it makes it easier for me to judge the mid-tones.
to to coming read a bit more. Mixing white, cambium orange, and kinocridum rose, a touch of raw umber, and white. Using grey paint and Naples, Naples yellow to grey down this color. Uh, remember, feel free to ask me any question.
Oh yeah, Nikki. You know what happens? There's a construction going on, like I don't know, maybe half block from here, maybe less, and then there's a lot of noise because they are just building something there. Uh, it's pretty annoying, you know. What can I do? It's just like it's just like that. I live in downtown. It's impossible. I mean, this. There's no way to. Don't have any noise and noise that annoys me, annoys me for real. <laughs> that's okay. At the end, that's okay, you know. See, we're saying, could you repeat which color do you use for the cheeks in this painting? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, this here is basically orange, okay, uh, kind of rose and white. And what happens, remember, everything is wet, okay, and then when you put paint on top, it get mixed. And the first color that I, I put down on the painting, it basically was just one color, it was this kind of, let's say, orangey, greenish color, that's the result, uh, that you got this color by mixing raw umber, white, and a touch of orange. Hello, Christine. Okay, now the things are uh, adjust these colors, you know, because it's not like uh, the combination is there and it's going to be perfect. I'm going to be moving between making this color, let's say, kind of orangey, greenish, reddish. For example, here, I think I got this, I got too much red, and then I'm going to go back to this color here, which it was the first color that I prepared. And it's kind of a neutral color. to work a little bit on the edges here. I'm gonna keep this light here. This is maple yellow. some sharp edge here on the eye I want a sharp edge here, okay? Like that. Okay, I want another another sharp edge on the nose.
sharp again here too a bit soft here Maple yellow, chrome green, a little white. Moving this highlight a little bit down. Uh, Paula Plick is, uh, is asking me what type, what size type of brush are you using? Okay, uh, I got uh, like for example this one is a bristle brush number one and then this one is a synthetic soft brush you know, look at the hair so frayed out and I got these synthetic brushes here too that they are kind of not new you know Just when they are new kind of pointy but they are pretty cheap I use it just usually in the first stages and then liner brushes a lot of liner brushes for details just basically what I have and I have a lot of them, it's kind of the same from time to time I find a new type of brushes I buy, I buy them and I start using them for a little bit and then, but usually they say that I use thick brushes all the time, most of the time okay. In chrome green, white, a touch of napalm yellow. Okay, it has to be pretty subtle. Okay, I don't want the green just to be too intrusive. Saturated. I'm gonna mix raw umber and white. I'm gonna put it on top. Obviously, because I have more paint here, I gotta mix this color. I gotta mix both. Work 
Okay, I think that's better a, a bit more. More umber and more white. This greenish color, greenish color is pretty nice for a skin color. But just remember, just knocking down with a bit of orange. And now you get this greenish color when you mix raw umber, but I mean, it, and cadmium orange. But it's it's about the, the pigment. It's about the brand. Okay. You use Winton, for example, you're gonna get a different color. I use in Rembrandt's today, and that's what I got these colors. That change from pigment to pigment depending on the brands. But if somebody wants to get the same, they say greenish color, if somebody likes this color. You get that when you mix, remember, raw umber, white, and a touch of orange. Because of the cameo orange is kind of yellowish from Rembrandt. You're gonna, you're gonna have the, that kind of greenish, brownish color which I think is pretty nice for the skin. And got black and kinacrid on rose. Let's paint this portion of the hair.
Of more green. Oh, it is too much. I'm gonna keep it there, okay? I like it, but let's see if it works. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, okay, okay. More white. A bit of green. I want to try to knock down this color here. Okay. 
Okay. I want this color to be lighter, but I don't want this color to be too saturated, too orangey. The orangey color already this color is gonna be on the cheek area. Okay, from the cheekbone to the cheek here. Okay, and then down here going down here it's, it's gonna be kind of a neutral color, no reddish, no greenish, and even I could maybe push it a little bit to the greenish color. But or maybe just a touch, like picking up a little bit of you know pick up a little bit of green. And just kind of just lay down a brush stroke there. Okay. This is gray paint with chrome green. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> uh. I need more bike for downtown Lima. Uh, oh, uh, here that could be pretty dangerous. Yeah. 
it's just it's just too much, too much traffic, too much people. Okay, I need to check out some edges here. Let's see, I need a smaller, smaller brush. See if this one works. Okay, first uh, let's see. I like the this sharp edge here on the nose. Yeah, that's good. I'm just gonna make the nose pop. Okay. Now I need to do the same on the nostrils. Okay. Just red. And the and crimson. Let's draw here. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep it sharp. to keep it sharp just there and soft here a bit softer here I'm thinking about, about ages here okay there's a sharp edge now some highlights keep this soft kind of lost okay
see now let's go to the eye again just black and kind of on rose Okay, I'm trying to have a sharp edge there. Everything around kind around kind of soft. Okay. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of light down here. Soft, soft. I don't want I don't wanna have too many details on the eyes. I just wanna create the illusion that the eye is there without seeing any detail. For the other, the other eye, the same, but the light that is on the upper eyelid, I cannot have this light uh, lighter or brighter as this one. This one has to be a bit, a bit mute, in comparison to this one. Okay, but I want the same. I want, a, I want a sharp edge here. Everything is soft. Then a little bit of insinuation of the bottom lip, which I don't see here. You know, I don't see anything on the picture because everything is pretty dark. What I see is basically a black, uh, you know, a bottom lip. Now I'm gonna blend it. Okay, okay, okay. 
Uh, let's see, I mean the eyes are not perfect, but that's kind, of, kind of what I want. Okay, I'm gonna add a highlight here. Highlight here, a little bit, okay. Okay, that's too much. I soften this one, I soften this one. Here in the corner of the eye, I want to soften the edge a lot. I don't want to detail, just here, okay, sharp. Around the nostril, the tear duct, it's greenish. Okay, there. for the mouth. I'm gonna soften here a lot. See? And it's gonna be sharp just here. Okay, I think I would love to darken up here to see this light glowing a bit more. And that way at the same time I can just soften the edge, of the, the kind of, you know, fade the, the hair on the background. See if I can sharp, sharpen an edge here. A little bit of green.
uh, adding a bit a bit of contrast here reddish uh, adding a touch of green again red okay a little bit of green again here there was no paint on my brush I'm mixing here on, on, on this area this little bit of green here okay some raw umber to create a transition here okay now the eyebrow I can just uh, make it a little bit sharper here just here a little bit okay just a little bit okay and then it goes soft soft and then it's sharp again on the nose okay and then here is it's pretty soft lost a lost edge now I'm gonna check out the nostril how dark is this nostril I don't like to paint the nostril just black or brown I prefer to paint in red. If I zoom in, you're gonna see. Look at the color. It's red. Yeah. Now the the, the thing is that from the distance, you, s you don't see those reddish or greenish colors. But if you see them from, I mean, if you get from a distance, if you see them so clearly, that means that you need to knock down those colors a bit. Okay. Oh, hello Marvin Langley. Hello Sharon. Oh, thank you. Look at it. La lit. Yep. Oh, Gary is asking me what is the total size of uh, if the of the painting length and width or just the head. Oh, the size is like eight by eight or eight by ten inches. Yeah. Something like that, 8 by 10, 8 by 10. Yeah. Oh, here I have it, here I have it. Okay. You have to be sure, okay? Oh, no, no, I'm making a mistake. Look at this. 9 by 12. That means this is 9, and here, that would be 9 by 9. By nine. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Look at this sharp edge there, and then soft, and then lost here. Okay, I'm gonna keep just that. Obviously, I'm gonna go over that area and make a judgment because obviously it's not gonna be just leaving like that. I need to soften maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, maybe yeah, maybe uh, see a bit more here on this upper portion. work on the ear
I'm gonna do too much details here since I'm gonna add a lot of hair on top of the face at some point. Okay. Now let's check out the highlights. Yeah, I need uh, to. I need more green, green and white. I need this highlight. I need to make this glow. Okay. And then the next highlight is gonna be here. Okay. Next one is gonna be here. Okay. We're gonna keep an, or an order. Okay. This highlight here, it shouldn't be or it shouldn't shine at the highlight as the highlight on the tip of the nose. If you see that both are have the same brightness, you gotta knock down knock down one of them. Obviously, we gotta keep the lightest light on the nose. Touch of green, touch of red. Okay, what about this? What do you think? Maybe it's competing with the face. Maybe you should no just knock down that this light here. Hmm. What should I do? opinion
ok this edge is char sharp ok this is soft sharp soft soft ok Okay, again a bit sharp to make the face pop the chin yeah. okay here I can add a little bit of a greenish color I'm gonna mix gray paint with chrome green it's been a long time since I used gray paint you know, that's a color that uh, uh, some of my friends, portrait painter friends, consider just a must on the palettes. And hey, I'm using that. Uh, okay, I got this greenish color and I put it here. Okay, now, what's the, my intention is obviously I got the mouth that is reddish, is red, it's pink, and I got this green here. Okay, what is green and what is red of opposite colors on the color wheel? Okay, that means that I'm creating contrast here. Now, one color is working for the other color. In this case, the green is working to make the, the, the red pop. Okay? We can do that everywhere on the painting. Now, one thing that I don't like is this eye here. I think I'm gonna just soften that. Maybe I feel that uh, it's not doing any good just to see the eye here. Yeah, I think that's better. Sometimes, sometimes less is more. I heard somebody say, say that. I'm not so sure if that works for painting. Definitely it does, you know. Definitely not for every painting. Okay. Now, this area is working to make the nose pop. At the same time, obviously, I'm working the tear or taking out the tears here. But the thing is, you gotta see the nose coming forward. Okay, uh, since it's not, you know, it's about values, it's about color, it's about the illusion of depth, which is the illusion of three dimensionality. The illusion that we're creating something three dimensional that you know is occupies one something on the space is surrounded it has an atmosphere it's not something flat okay let's see. I want to zoom in again. Look at the mouth. I love the mouth. I, I would love to do more, okay? Because I think it's not enough, but what I see here, when I squint on my eyes, I love it. Okay? Now, that's me, obviously. It's not saying that you will have to love it. It's just me. Okay. What I did, I added another sharp edge here. Just this little portion, okay? With this little portion. Sharp, lost, sharp, soft, okay?
Okay, what about the background? I like this background, but if I want more contrast, I could make it darker, darker. Definitely, you know, when you think about contrast, you think about light and shadow. You think about opposite colors, red, green, the same that I did here, red, green. Sorry, green, red, okay? And we can do that everywhere. We can, if we can even pick up a little bit of this green, just being sure that the value is right, and put it here next to this one that is red okay maybe maybe to our eyes or like nothing's gonna happen okay color theory says that when you do that okay that makes the color vibrate and creates an illusion that that area is even a bit more colorful but that you know that that just one percent maybe increase in, in color that's what we want okay which is different when you think about hey i'm gonna make this colorful hey, i'm gonna add just pure red or pure orange or any color yeah okay oh oh thank oh thank you keith safer say feel that like you could go darker on the shadow on the left side Okay, okay, uh, oh, thank you. Can you say, uh, hi, do you use any medium or solvent? No, I don't use anything. Uh. <laughs> Marvin is okay. Did the workers leave with their hammers? Yeah, yeah, it looks like they are finished up their work. For today, you know, I was thinking that uh, it's pretty annoying, you know, annoys me a lot but when I think that obviously these people is, are working they are working the same that I'm doing here how how I can be mad with them you know the, only, the, diff the difference is just they are noisy and I'm not <laughs> but I could be what if I just played my music out loud Okay, now uh, let's pick up a little bit of a uh, kind of green rose, white. It works like violet, okay? More white. I'm gonna put it here. Just gonna be sure that it's light enough. I'm trying to create a different light. Okay, maybe, maybe it's not that clear. I'm gonna zoom in again to show. Okay, you see this green? Okay, it looks it looks like it looks more intense on the screen, uh, at least on my screen. Okay. Uh, now uh, here's this kind of pinky cool color and here the same pinky color I just want this just to be pretty subtle Like I said before we shouldn't see that from a distance. I see obviously a little bit of the screen, but it's not that much Okay Okay, what is this? It's sharp here. I'm gonna soften here a little bit. If you like my painting, remember to press the like button. And don't forget to send me some money. No, no, no I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, oh, but you can join and be uh, my Patreon account where we paint and draw once a week. Okay, I'm gonna soften here the ear a bit more, like a lot here, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm gonna keep this sharp, 
sharp here I'm gonna soften the edge here you know like guiding your eyes to see my painting the way I want it the way I want it like go here look at here look at the nose move softness here and then a little bit sharp here softness sharp soft sharp and then move around sharp soft okay you don't even know where to see I'm just taking you by the hand and guide you on my painting to see what I want you to see <laughs> obviously that's not true a little bit of that is true you know I've been thought that like hey you, we guide the uh, it was the fr it was a phrase I don't remember okay what should I do with the background The same that's happening here, look at sharp, lost. Okay, it's always, this is sharp, this is soft. That's contrast. Now you decide how much you play with this, how much you exaggerate this contrast. The same way that you exaggerate contrast between red and green, something like that. You can do the same here. Okay, um, I'm going to darken up a little bit here. Okay. Oh, I got a, a, a suggestion here. Hello, G. Huntress Art. I'm thinking a cool background will contrast nicely with the with her warm skin tones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see. Oh, I was working here. I, I was just I was thinking for a, for a minute, you know, trying to imagine a cool color on the background. Maybe gray paint that would be enough. Okay, I think I'm done with the face. I still have some doubts about the eye. I think I could do something there.
uh, this brush I think is going to be enough. It's pretty scary. My God. And green colors that I don't want to get on my my paint. I'm gonna clean the brush. I like it. <laughs> it's pretty scary. It's like I'm about to destroy my painting just by doing this. Oh my god, this is pretty scary. Hold my hand. Okay, 
here's gray pain. Uh, no. Okay, let me, let me think. Let me think. Maybe I, sh I can just uh, clean this. Okay, uh, let's see, I'm gonna soften this edge a bit more. Okay, uh, uh, okay. What you be saying, I know what you feel, right? You feel like, right? So sometimes I'm gonna print my weight for it to dry because I get scared to do those swings of hair. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like painting whiskers on a finished cut painting, scary. <laughs> It adds all the drama. <laughs> yeah. uh, Paula Pliqui, or Plique, was saying, Your painting is magic, girl. This is my first live session. I love watching your painting magically evolve into something beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Thank you all for being here. Hello, Cesarte. Nuestra se le perdió. ¡Oh! Sí, qué pena. <laughs> Tina is saying we are holding our breath as you bring her hair across her face. <laughs> Thank you, Tina. Uh, okay, I think. I think I'm done. I'm done. Yeah? I don't know. I'm just gonna wait maybe five more minutes to see if what else I can do, but yeah. uh, I don't think I can do too much to the face in the gut since I got all the hair on the face. Hmm. Adding a little bit of light just to create more contrast.
little hair on the face. And you see in a lighter color, this is the rubber, that's the color that I have used to paint the, the hair. But I'm using a lighter one to get, uh, let's say, the tiny kind of transparent hairs flying over the face. Go back to raw umber. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep the background like that. No. Um, the last two sharp edges I got on the painting are here this portion of the hair and here okay now the thing is a sharp edge always kind of here and this kind of frame the face the whole head you know and at the same time it's like a, a point a focal point where you can just get into the painting like the nose you know sharp Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in for the last time to explain again what I wanted to, to get. Okay, first the color. Okay. I, I, I wanted this kind of greenish color as a base and with this kind of reddish colors on some specific areas like the cheeks, nose, chin, you know, eyebrow, eye, eye, eyelids, okay? I wanted some cool, kind of cool accents, like this green as a highlight, green here, and even I, I added a little bit of, it's kind of, uh, let's say, purple, no, violet here, really light violet color. Some green here, some green here below the red to create more contrast, you know, you see the mouth is pretty soft here, and it got a sharp edge, soft edge, sharp edge. The same way for the nose, here is, there's a lot of red, but there is green too, okay? What's the intention to create a colorful area? But at the same time, the saturation makes that area a bit transparent. That's it, and then all the rest is the same. I'm trying to do the same, like for the exam for example, the neck. Oh, I didn't paint in the neck. I, gotta spend, I should spend more time on the neck. But look at the neck, look at the edge. Kind of soft, kind of lost. The same here, sharp. And, uh, you know, edges are pretty important to add to this situation of depth. Obviously, color does the work drawing, edges, everything works together. But I gotta say, at some point, it just become pretty important because if you have sharp edges everywhere, okay, we think that we're seeing something that, like, uh, like maybe you cut that, that figure with some scissors and just paste it on top of the canvas. Okay. You gotta be careful about that. What is I going to do? I'm going to do something. Oh, the ear. Yeah, I'm going to work on the ear a little bit. Maybe I should add more here. That's it. And that way I don't I don't work on the ear.
Okay, thank you so much, you all, for being here. <clears throat> I dropped my mouth. Hope you like it. Don't forget to press the like button before you go. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Sylvia. Okay, Marvin Langley saying, Stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's this that's kind of difficult to know when to stop. Okay, thank you so much, everybody. Take care, you all. Okay, you know, you can get access, access to a lot of recorded lessons on my Patreon account. That's the link on the description, description box. Take care, you all. Bye. See you all next week. Bye Nikki, bye all your paintings by Anna Petty. Bye Keith. And if you become a member of my channel, you get access to some recorded videos too. Oh, Gary saying, are you still doing acrylics? Yeah, I, yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start doing acrylics again. I stopped uh, because of my back, you know, but I'm getting better. Okay, bye everybody. Hello Marina. See you all next week. <laughs>